Hey, how's it going, you guys? It's Spidey Two Sixty Four here again with yet another NASCAR video. This is not a NASCAR news discussion video, even though I am talking about NASCAR. This is not any breaking news, but today I just sort of, I just sort of want to talk about something that I've been wondering from last night and from today. You know, it's something I've been wondering. You know, and also, please sorry for the noise outside. Yeah, um, pretty windy day, and then, um, and, um, we have these things, like these little flower metal things that are hanging, that are hanging, that are hanging, and they're banging against the wall, so, please excuse that. But anyways, for today's video, I want to discuss about a very important topic about next Sunday's race. And the title of this video will be titled, why the Coca-Cola 600 is going to suck. And I want people to watch this. I want people to watch this. So I'm going to put a please watch thing. So, um, yeah. So, now, the reason why I'm really concerned for this race, and that is because, and that is because the Coca-Cola 600 is one of NASCAR's crown jewels. It's one of NASCAR's biggest crown jewels. And the reason is because... It's the longest NASCAR race ever, you know? Longest NASCAR race ever, 400, 600 miles, you know? Pretty long race. Now, here's something that I've, now, I've been thinking, now, 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 if you guys know that as of right now, NASCAR, the races have not been good, so it has not been good this year. It's not been good. It's not been good at all. You know, I mean, I mean, the only good race this season, in my opinion, my own opinion, is the Bristol race. The Bristol race. That that's the only that was the only good race this season. Now, you know, but um, now why do I think now um, now if you watch my review, you probably would understand. But the reason why I feel like the the Coca Cola Six Hundred is gonna suck. Um, it's gonna suck um, on Sunday, and I think it's probably gonna be the worst race of the season. It's just because with the way, with the way the Aero package has been done at the All Star race, it's been really good, and that saved the All Star race. But NASCAR did not plan it for the Coca Cola Six Hundred or anything like that. And so basically, when we'll have the, the the cars with the dog ears and stuff like that, we'll have the cars with the normal arrow pack with the normal arrow package, no restrictor plates at all. You know, the name same old setup that we use every, every time. Now, if you met, if you're a fan, now if you're an NASCAR fan like me, you would know that Kevin Harvick has basically um, has basically won five races, five races this season, and one non points race, which is the co which is the All Star race. The reason why I'm really concerned is because with the way kept now Kevin Harvick for some reason, like March Rich Jr. did last year, can pull up to a four or ten second lead over these over every car in the field. <clears throat> you know? Like he can pull up he can he can pull up to a um he can pull up to a to a four car lead because of how good his car is. You know, because how good it is. I'm feeling like this this race is gonna be like from it's gonna be like 2016 Coca Cola 600 where Martrix Jr. dominated the whole race, dominated the whole race, led I don't know how many laps, but I think it was 380 something laps out of 400. You know, and it was it was that bad. You know, that's what I th now that's really what I think. I really am concerned for this race. Concerned one, this is one of NASCAR's crown jewels, and I think it's, and the only that crown jewel in NASCAR that is actually good is is the Daytona 500. That's the only one that's good, you know. Now, um, now, now, now the Coca -Cola, now since. Now, since we all know that with these Gen 6 cars, we really can't race good on the mile-and-a-half tracks. And with the Aero Package, we have 
you know, and with Kevin Harvick being such a good car, we're going to get a show that Kevin Harvick is going to dominate the whole race. I, that's, I feel like that's what's going to happen. Kevin, Har Kevin Harvick is going to dominate the whole race. There will be no battles for the lead. There won't be anything like that. It won't be like from last year. Last year, the Coca-Cola 600 was actually, I think, a good race. You know, I mean, I liked the winner, which was Austin Dillon. That was before I hated him, before the, um, the, um, the, um, the, um, the, um, the 2018 Daytona 500. Fuck you, Austin Dillon. But, <clears throat> yeah, so I'm just, so, I mean, I mean, when you look at Oscar's other two crown jewels, the Sun 500, eh, it's so it's it's good, but not oh, but it's not. I don't think the best race ever. The Brickyard 400, boy, that was a wreck fest from last year, and and we really just can't get a good race. Also, I did not do my hair today. I didn't go to school today, you know, because I didn't go to school today. So yeah, I had a good day off. Good good day off. I'm excited to see my friends tomorrow. You know. But um, yeah. So I'm just really can I'm just really am concerned for this this week's race. And also we're gonna and also and also people and also NASCAR they're not doing anything. You know. I mean, if there's one way we can maybe save this race, and as we try to do the aero package at Char at the, what the Coca Cola 600, we try to do that. We can try to maybe do that, you know. I mean, NASCAR needs to realize that people are not people. That it's probably going to be a boring race, considering one Kevin Harvick is literally unstoppable. He's literally unstoppable. No one can beat him. No one can beat him at all. Not even Truex. Not even Kyle Busch. No one can beat Kevin Harvick. You know, I'm not. I'm not saying that Kevin Harvick's cheating. He's not doing anything wrong. He's not doing anything wrong. But NASCAR needs to come up with a way we can have the good racing back again, you know, where we have um, battles for the lead on the green flag run, passes for the lead on the green flag run, and we're not going to get at that at all for this race. It's going to be a four, it's probably going to be a four hour, a four hour, four hour crap, um, crap fest of a race, and... Not many people are going to be excited for Pocono, Michigan, well, Sonoma. They're going to be excited for Sonoma, Chicagoland, and Daytona. And also, we're going to after Chicagoland. And after Sonoma, we're going to NBC. And people are not going to be excited for that because we all know how NBC's broadcast went last year. You know? You know? But, yeah, it's just that, um, that NASCAR, please. Please let this race not suck, okay? Because this season so far has been crap. It's been all another crap. No good races. No good races. We don't have one good. There's only one good race this season, in my opinion. Bristol. Bristol's the only good race. Bristol's the only good race. And all the other races fucking sucked. They did. I'm going to go over this again. Daytona 500 was crap. Atlanta, okay. Las Vegas, pretty bad. Phoenix, pretty good. Auto Club, that was a pretty good race. That's the only one I went to that race. Uh, Martinsville, okay. Tech, um, Martinsville, okay. Texas was crap. Bristol, Bristol, Bristol was Bristol was a good race. Richmond was good. Talladega was crap. Um. Dover was crap. Kansas was good. And then the All-Star race was good. So, out of all those races, Daytona, Las Vegas, Talladega, Te Texas, and a couple other ones that I named there. Those were my least favorite races. But most likely this, 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 um, this, um, this race is going to be pretty bad. You know? I mean, NASCAR, I mean, I think this may be the race that could possibly maybe kill NASCAR. And it's most likely why people will be only watching, the only race they're going to be watching that whole day will be the Indy 500 and, and the Monaco Grand Prix. Yeah.
Monaco Grand Prix. Also, you know, but here's what I'm gonna predict: Kamikaze Games is probably gonna hate the is probably gonna hate the race, which I don't blame him. Even though he's a old school NASCAR fan, you know, Real Robin's probably gonna hate the race. David Lance probably gonna hate the race. Basically, every big name, basically every big NASCAR YouTuber is gonna hate the race on Sunday for the Coke 600. Even though I don't think David Lance is gonna care for the Coke 600 since. The Indy 500, that's going to be a gosh darn good race, you know. And I'm excited. I'm more excited for the Indy 500 than the Coca-Cola 600, you know. But I'm still, I'm still going to watch that race. And if Kevin Harvick does dominate the whole race, I'll do what I did last last year. During the race, I, I slept, woke up, you know. I think I slept during the red flag for the for the Coke for the. <clears throat> I slept for a good, um, I saw, yeah, um, there was like, uh, after I think it was when the red flag came for the, for rain and I slept, it was a pretty good sleep. I mean, I had a really good nap, you know, so, um, <clears throat> um, yeah, so, <laughs> it was pretty good. That was a pretty good nap, I must admit. But also, um, yeah, I mean, guys, I mean, only the racing gods can tell. Is, is the Coca-Cola 600 going to be a good race or will it be a Kevin Harvick um, show where it's going to... Well, you know what? We shouldn't, we shouldn't call it the Coca-Cola 600. We should call it the Kevin Harvick 600. Yes, we're going to call it the Kevin Harvick 600 because he's gonna probably going to dominate the whole race. Here's now... I actually thought... I, I've actually... I, I didn't said this earlier in the video, but here's another way... We can maybe the race can maybe be saved if Kevin Harvick DNFs he wrecks out of the race. If that were to happen, then then people will actually watch the race. They actually will. They actually will. You know, if Kevin Harvick has a bad day, if he has like a bad day, then then um then um. He'll, um then you'll have a, then you'll have a good, um, then you'll have, um, yeah, so, um, yeah, so, um, yeah, anyways, um, uh, thanks guys for watching the video. Comment down below, do you guys think that this is gonna, this is gonna, this is gonna be the race, the race that will end NASCAR forever? Do you think it'll, it'll, it'll end NASCAR you know, and, and whatnot, you know, so, um, I feel like it's probably is going to be, it's probably going to kill NASCAR, people will not be excited for Pocono, people will not be excited for the next few races at all, because one, Kevin Harvick, you know, he's gonna, because he's gonna dominate the whole race, and there's no need for a whole 36 race season, so, yeah, um, thanks for watching, and, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.